and our NBI Phone A Plus in 2021 and see which one you should pick up in 2021. Now, obviously, if you have the money, the iPhone XR is the better way to go. But the A Plus is still a very good value, in my opinion. You can pick up either one of these linked down below. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off side by side, you can see the iPhone XR has the bigger display, but the iPhone A Plus is actually the bigger phone overall, at least that's what it seems like. The iPhone A Plus has that 5.5 inch IPS panel on the front, 1080p, and it really is a, still a pretty good panel. You know, I don't think it's any worse or better than the iPhone XR's. Uh, the iPhone XR's panel is low resolution, but the iPhone A Plus does have a high resolution display, but this one looks better because of the lack of home button and stuff. But I think the iPhone A Plus panel is still pretty good. Obviously, bigger bezels with the home button up the front, but I don't think it's really that big of a deal. The iPhone XR, on the other hand, has that 6.1 inch IPS panel, Retina IPS panel, whatever you're going to call it. And it's pretty much the same thing, you know, almost true tone on both. This one, like I mentioned, does have a little bit of a bigger display, has the notch, no fingerprint sensor, no nothing like that, but it does look overall better than the iPhone 8 Plus. So I think that's pretty much the biggest advantage that you have on the iPhone XR that you don't have on the iPhone 8 Plus. When it comes down to the front, though, I think the iPhone XR is the better looking one for sure. In terms of the side, you can see the iPhone XR is a little bit thicker. Thicker, but with that thickness you get a little bit of a bigger battery which is really nice and on the back the last backs on both the iPhone 10 has that single camera setup 8 plus dual camera setup wireless charging on both both of them feel really good one glass back doesn't really feel more premium than the other one so there isn't really that big of a difference lining ports at the bottom so in terms of the outside that really pretty much covers it up for the most part there really isn't that big of a difference besides the front other than that and the dual cameras they're pretty much exactly the same now, I do think one of the bigger differences between these two devices is probably the longevity. So the iPhone 8 Plus came out in 2017, the iPhone XR came out in 2018. So there's a year difference between these two. So that basically means that the iPhone XR, in my opinion, may last one year longer. But I have been saying even from the day the iPhone 8 Plus and iPhone 10 came out, that these phones may be getting an extra year of support. There's no way to verify that. I don't work for Apple or anything like that. But if I had to say it, I think the iPhone XR and iPhone 8 Plus may actually end up ending off the same time. And the reason I say that right now in this video is so I can clip this video and you know pretty much bring it up when it's pretty much announced three, four years from now. So that right there is a pretty big difference. I think an even bigger difference than that is the battery life and the battery sizes. So the iPhone XR's battery size is bigger than the iPhone 8 Plus's, but the iPhone XR has such good battery life still that it just shocks me how good of a performing phone this is in terms of the battery life statement. I think the iPhone 8 Plus is still a very good phone too in battery life, but it's just not as good as the XR. I think the iPhone 8 Plus really isn't even that great to be honest. So I think the iPhone XR takes the cake when it comes down to battery, but I think the iPhone 8 Plus is still kind of good for the most part, you know, if you know what I mean. So so in terms of that, that covers that area. Now let's go into a speed comparison between both these phones. The iPhone 8 Plus has that Apple 11 Bionic chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone XR has that Apple 8 12 Bionic chip inside of it with 3 gigs of RAM as well. So let's go and see which one is the faster phone between both of these. Okay, now that we're back, all the apps are cleared out in the background as you guys can see. So let's get started. Let's do phone calls, 3, 2, 1. And you can see roughly around the same, not a big difference there. Let's do their app stores, 3, 2, 1. One, and you can see the iPhone XR I think is the faster one. The iPhone 8 Plus was kind of a bit behind, not like an insane difference. Scrolling through, you can see I think loading speeds are roughly around the same on both. They kind of are looking around the same thing, clicking into random one. Even loading into like a random one like this was faster on the iPhone XR as well. Hopping out of an app, let's go and do something like the cameras. Three, two, one. It's not really going to show too much if I'm being honest. Hopping out of this one, as always, we can do music. Three, two, one. And I totally screwed that up, but we'll go and just leave it in the background. As always, I do have a bunch of these third-party apps we can go and get into. Let's get started. Let's do Quizlet. 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone XR was the faster one, 8 plus a little bit behind. Let's go and do Dropbox. 3, 2, 1. I think, again, the XR was the faster one, the 8 plus a little bit behind again. Let's go and do Snapchat. 3, 2, 1. Uh, XR was faster, but the 8 plus was just slightly behind it. Hopping out of this one, let's go ahead and do Temple Run 3, 2, 1. Now we'll just see what it takes to get past the loading screen because they could be on different layouts. And even here, I think the iPhone XR was slightly faster. If I go and click Resume, let's see what the graphics are. And I, this is a pretty basic game, so nothing crazy is going to be found. And you guys can kind of pretty much tell from there. Hopping out of this one, let's go ahead and do something like Facebook 3, 2, 1. And roughly around the same, not really that big of a difference there. Twitter 3, 2, 1. 
iPhone 10 was faster, iPhone 8 Plus just a little bit behind. Let's go ahead and do Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And this one may take a sec. Okay, the iPhone 10 is loaded for the most part. The iPhone 8 Plus, we have do have a little bit of pop up here. I don't really know what happened there. So that one definitely for sure the iPhone 10 was faster. Stack, three, two, one. And actually, I think the iPhone 8 Plus was the faster one there. That was pretty surprising. Let's go and do thank you. Three, two, one. And stack was faster on the iPhone XR. Scrolling through, you can kind of see that they're roughly around the same. There's not really that big of a difference here. Hopping out of this app, let's go ahead and do something like snake first blocks. Three, two, one. And the iPhone 8 Plus was actually faster there. This is very strange. Sometimes it's like, I would say most of the time so far it's been faster on the XR, but the 8 Plus is still kind of up there. Let's do Netflix. Three, two, one. And roughly around the same, there wasn't really that big of a difference. And we can end it off with Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And you can see, I think the 10R is the fast one, but the A+, plus, as always, is just a little bit behind it. Let's kind of see if this is verified and... Actually, they kind of ended off around the same, which is very crazy. So I think when it comes down to it, the iPhone XR, I think is the faster one. But to be honest, as you guys kind of saw, there really isn't that crazy of a difference. If I wasn't comparing them side by side, and the XR actually, you know, the RAM wasn't like good. It kind of restarted, if you guys could see. I think when it comes down to both, I think the iPhone XR is the faster one. I don't know why the RAM is restarting or the apps are restarting on the iPhone XR or on the iPhone 8 Plus. They're keeping it up. That really doesn't make too much sense to me. That's why RAM on the iPhones are just so strange. They're like a weird, strange thing. But I think, it, I guess, when it comes down to RAM management, the iPhone 8 Plus is better. But when it comes down to the actual app opening speeds, I think the iPhone XR is a faster one for sure. So in terms of that, that covers it up there. Let's go and hit on the cameras. Now, as I've stated before, the iPhone 8 Plus has that dual camera setup, a 12 megapixel wide and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. The iPhone 10 on the other hand, has a 12 megapixel wide angle lens. Now, I've said this for years now, but the iPhone 8 Plus's camera setup is a very solid camera for sure. Really, whatever you're going to do with it is going to be fine for the most part. 4K at 60, 1080p at 30 on the front. And I think, you know, like I mentioned before, this camera is a very solid camera. I think everything you're going to do with it is fine. You have portrait mode. You have all these other things that pretty much the newer iPhones have. The camera quality isn't amazingly perfect, but I think for the standard things you're going to do with it, I think it's going to be perfectly fine. It's not going to be the best camera in the world. I think the front camera could have used it a little bit of an improvement. I think this like lens that it has on the front is good, but you know, when you have newer phones doing much better, it would have been better if it was newer, like kind of better, but I think it's totally okay. This phone came out in 2017, so it's fine. The iPhone 10 on the other hand, I think I think the camera is overall better on the iPhone 10 for sure. The only downside is, is that it is a single sensor, so no ultra wide. You can't really zoom in as much compared to something like an iPhone 8 Plus. So that's kind of the biggest downside with something like a single camera lens. But this single camera is beautiful. 4K 60 on the back, 1080p at 60 on the front, so you're getting a better front-facing camera, which is interesting. But the back camera overall, I think, is better on the iPhone XR as well. I think the only thing the iPhone 8 Plus has going forward, the only advantage it has, is this dual camera setup. I think other than that, the iPhone XR's camera is pretty much the better one. But I don't know. I, I think the iPhone 8 Plus camera is still good. Like it's kind of comes down even to like the performance thing again. Like I stated, the performance, you know, it's kind of better on the iPhone 8 Plus, kind of better on the iPhone XR. But they're both very good cameras for the most part. And I think if I were to choose one over the other one, it really wouldn't be because of the camera or the performance, to be honest. So this kind of leads us into our ending of the video. Peace out, leaving home just to change my phone plan. Hello, switching from my sofa. Goodbye, everything you can. Hello, Google Fire phone plan that can. Stop spending so much on Apple. Me? Video to basically be like, you know, what would you choose? You know, if you were to pick one of these, would it be the iPhone XR or the iPhone 8 Plus? Well, I think the obvious answer is I would rather have an iPhone XR than an iPhone 8 Plus. And this phone is going to be a much longer lasting phone than the 8 Plus. It's going to be able to last you for many, many years. Even though the iPhone 8 Plus is still going to last you for probably just as long, I feel like the iPhone XR is going to be that device that's going to be the no brainer in my opinion. This device has a super long life cycle in front of it. It has pretty much nonstop support for many, many 
years and it looks better it feels better you know i think it is the no-brainer in my opinion but i actually lied i don't think it looks but i don't think it feels better i think they both feel the same i think the iphone 10 just looks better but the iphone 8 plus to what i've seen in this video dude I, like, I think the iPhone 8 Plus is still a very good phone. The performance was something I wasn't expecting to see that big of a difference between the two. I thought the iPhone 8 Plus was going to be much slower than the iPhone XR, but that didn't end up being the case. The iPhone 8 Plus had a very good performing chipset inside of it. The RAM seemed better on the iPhone 8 Plus than the iPhone XR as well, so that was another W for the iPhone 8 Plus. And I think when it comes down to it, probably the iPhone XR is the phone I would buy. But if you have an iPhone 8 Plus, I think it's perfectly fine too. As I mentioned before, I would not go from an 8 Plus to an iPhone XR or vice versa because of the performance or the camera. I think I would go because of the way it looks and the face ID and the lack of a bunch of bezel. I think other than that, you're probably going to be getting roughly around the same phone and there really wasn't that big of a difference between the two in my opinion. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. Like I mentioned, if you want to pick up either one of these links are down below, but then from there help support the channel at the same time. That pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.